Hello there and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and it is my privilege to be your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now the festive season is upon us. It is December already, I cannot believe it, uh, and already we are beginning to think of the gifts that we intend to lavish upon our loved ones and in some cases drop some hints to our loved ones the things that they would like to, us to lavish upon us. Choose the gifts that we want. So to make sure that you get or give the gifts that people will want to receive, I have taken some time to compile a list of the gifts that I think would be perfect for any chap out there. Now most of these things I've encountered through this last year. Some I've been using for longer, some of the items I've already discussed here on the channel in some review videos, but all of them are items which I use myself and I can endorse unreservedly. Now I should point out that I'm not being paid to uh, advertise any of these products, they're utterly items which I use myself and I share with you today as potential items which I think would be good gifts for other people. So I've got 10 gifts for you, which I think will be a great choice. Here they come. Now the first item, which I think will make an excellent gift to anybody else, or even to yourself, if you're a, a, a stalwart chap, is this wonderful book, The Modern Gentleman's Handbook. Now I just bought this a few weeks ago, I've been reading it avidly over the last few weeks, and I have to say it is a perfect accompaniment to the chap who wants to learn more about being a gentleman and rounding off perhaps those rough edges he has in his life. Now this book uh, was written this year, 2021, by a chap called Nick Wheeler. Now Nick, his full name is Nick Charles Turret Wheeler. That'll perhaps give you an idea of the angle from this book. Charles Tirrett's, of course, um, is the eponymous shirt and gentleman's clothing brand, which Nick Wheeler created in 1986. And since that time, he's been involved in the, the style business, so to speak, and he's written this book, which is absolutely jam-packed with lots of tips about... Um, about etiquette, about clothing, about you know formality, casualty, shoes, ties, suits, and lots of advice which will really help any gentleman on his journey through life. As I say, I've been reading it for a few weeks, weeks. It makes excellent reading, and it would be a delightful gift, I think, for any chap, either receiving or giving to another. Now the next item on my top 10 lists of gifts to give is also very reasonably priced, just like that book, which was only about 10 pounds from Amazon. These are scarves and pocket squares. You might say, what's so special about that? Very traditional fare for the, the jobbing gentleman. But actually, these pocket squares and scarves are from a company which you've seen me wearing all the time on this channel, Soho Scarves. Now they're based in London and they make some wonderful products because their take on the traditional scarf and pocket square is by revitalizing them and producing them in such vibrant colors that they cannot go unnoticed. I mean, look at that. That is an artist's interpretation of the, um, the post office tower in London, reproduced in vivid colors. And I think when popped into a pocket square, it just pops. It brings life to your outfit. More traditional patterns and styles are available, and there's scarves as well in a variety of different colors, uh, in different thicknesses. Their pocket squares and scarves are available in silk, in man-made fibers, and in woolens. So, you know, you get some wonderful products here, and again, at very modest prices. Their pocket squares in silk start at something like uh, 12 pounds, and their man-made uh, materials, half that price. So very, very approachable prices, and they always come beautifully wrapped up in one of these little um, cardboard wallets. So if you're giving it as a gift, it's nice and easy to wrap up, and it's very majestic. You know, it seems as if it's worth a lot more than they actually are. So whether it's for yourself or for a friend or relative, Soho Scarves, the place to go for a modern take on a traditional classic. Now my next item, my third item, 
uh, or items are two little things here which I've been using for the last six months or so and they are writing instruments but they're writing instruments from the Caveco company. Now Caveco is a German company which has been producing uh, writing instruments in some shape or another, let me check, get it right, since the 1880s and um, they've changed hands many times, they're not the original company, they're in different sort of ownership now but they have been producing for quite some time very classic and traditional products. The, the, the best of which, which I have found, is this Caveco Sport pocket fountain pen. Now these are great, you know, they look like they're nothing at all. They can be easily carried in the pocket, but they unscrew, they go together, and there we have a remarkable little pocket fountain pen, which works perfectly, writes smoothly, and allows you to bring a higher level of class when you're, you know, you're writing your notes in a notebook or whatever it may be, a fountain pen is a delineation between the ordinary fellow and the chap. And Caveco allows you to take the fountain pen anywhere you want to go. Because once you've finished, you just screw them back together, safe as houses. It's never going to leak. It's never going to cause you a problem. It can be carried in the pocket of your jacket, your trousers. It's perfect. And if you like that, as I did, I then expanded and tried a Caveco Sport Biro. Uh, and you know, just simple, small, again, easy for making notes on the fly because it fits easily in any pocket. It's uh, trouble free and it's a lovely little writing experience. Both of these are around about £20 each. The Caveco Sport, in plastic, it's about £20, but they come in a variety of different materials. So if you want to, you know, you want to upsell it a bit, you can have them in steel or in brass. Uh, if you want to go really classy, they come in all different colours, all different finishes. They're a classic. They're absolutely my favourite everyday carry pen at the moment, and I can't see that changing anytime soon. A perfect little gift. Okay, my next gift is equally practical, but very worthwhile if you want to improve your look because there may be somebody in your life who needs to up the game with their shoes or even you yourself. It's time to make a gift to yourself of the best possible thing that you can do to make your shoes better and that is to invest in a better quality shoe care product. Now for many years, well over a decade, I have been using Safia shoe care products. It's a French company and they do produce undoubtedly the best shoe care products in the world today. They, they have a, an expansive range. There is something for every one of your shoe needs. But if you were to give a gift of the three best shoe products to start somebody off, to improve your shoe uh, care and, you know, sort of regime to make them look better, shiny, perfect, this is where I would go, all right? All relatively modestly priced. This is Safia Renovator. It is a renovation cream, a conditioning cream. If you apply this to any colour of shoe, it will protect the leather, it will rejuvenate the leather, it will keep it nourished, and it will keep it looking its very best for longer. And to a degree, it will protect it as well. But, you know, it's designed really as a conditioning cream for your shoe. If you've got an old pair of shoes that are looking a bit knackered, to use a, a, a British anachronism, if you invest in a pot, a pot of this, which costs, I think, between 15 and 20 pounds, it will last for years and years, and it will make your shoes look perfect. And this is the base layer when you're looking after your footwear. Once you've used Renovator, then you need to invest in some Safia Pomodier Shoe Cream. Now, shoe cream is your day-to-day -day protectant for your shoes. You apply this, to again nourish and protect the shoes but to bring a rejuvenation of colour to the shoe because your shoes they're exposed to ultraviolet night to the the dampness of the environment and over time that will leach away the vibrancy of the shoe colour by applying shoe cream which has a high shoe colour pigment it will recolour that leather and it will make it look its very best. It's also got waxes and oils within it which will work to protect and nourish that leather going forward. Used in conjunction with Renovator, 
you've got the basis here for excellent shoe care going forwards and this also costs between sort of 15 and 20 pounds depends where you buy it one pot of this is going to last for years so it's a, a sh it's a long-term investment but modest when played out over the passage of time and finally to get that stunning shine on your shoes even if you want to take it to a mirror shine this is Safia's best shoe wax polish it is called Medal Dior Pat Deluxe Wax Polish and it's the traditional wax polish which we're all used to seeing. It's the solid wax polish which you apply to your shoes to protect them from the elements, to get the shine on there, uh, to get that shoe looking its very best. And again, same sort of price, a little bit cheaper actually these, but again, last for years and years. This will turn your shoe care around. You will be and go from being an also ran grubby shoe guy to the sharp shiny shoe person that you know you've always wanted to be. Now the next suggested gift which I have for you I don't actually have with me because all of mine are in my shoes at home and that is cedar shoe trees. They make the perfect gift to give to the gentleman or the chap in your life or gift to yourself of course because they are again an investment in excellent shoe care going forwards. Cedar shoe trees in particular work particularly well because they are beautiful to look at and that aromatic cedar wood imparts a beautiful odour to your shoes. How do they work? Well when you take off your shoes you place your shoe tree inside and that keeps your shoe in perfect shape in perfect form and it allows the shoe to dry naturally in between each wearing of the shoe because your shoe of course gets um, impregnated with perspiration from your foot you know your foot sweats successively when you're out and about walking around and if you don't allow that perspiration to dissipate by drying it will it will dry in the shoe it will uh, form bacteria and that's where unpleasant odors are formed so using a shoe tree helps the shoe to dry naturally and will allow the shoe to maintain its shape for much better it will look better and you will have much more pride in your shoes if you apply a shoe tree every day the perfect gift for any gentleman now my next suggested gift comes by way of a recommendation from one of the viewers to the chaps guide channel one of the viewers wrote to me and said you know if you want to try a fantastic shaving product you want to try Rusel shave cream it's amazing and I thought you know what I'm really happy with the shaving products that I've used over decades, things like Taylorsville, Bond Street and things like that. Really, really happy with them. Why would I try something different? But they were so enthusiastic, uh, I thought I would give it a try. So Rusel is a Dutch product. It only costs me about, it cost me about £10 to buy this from eBay. Uh, and I bought it half-heartedly. I looked at it and, you know, it's nothing special to look at. It's just a white cream. But you know what? It was an absolute revolution when I tried this stuff. It's a super slick, right? So you apply a very light layer of this to the face and you just shave on it uh, over that. It's fabulously lubricating. It is perfect when used in conjunction with a straight razor blade, you know, a, a standard safety blade. And I actually think this gave me and continues to give me to this day the best wet shaves I have ever had and that is saying something because I've always shaved with a safety razor uh, a wet shaving experience and I've used pretty much every type of shaving soap there is out there but for 10 pounds and on the pot it says Holland's finest I have to say it certainly is this has been the best shave I've ever had and um, it just absolutely performs out of its skin it gives a wonderful shave and at such a modest price it's a great gift to, to give to somebody who shaves regularly in your life why not give it a try um, I will leave a link in the in the comment section below to where I got these from a perfect gift for the shaver in your life 
Now, you will have absolutely seen this next suggested gift on my channel before, because much, much earlier in the year, in the spring of 2021, I reviewed this wallet. This is the Carl Friedrich Swanfield wallet, a simple bifold wallet, um, which has space for seven cards and a few slots in there to allow you to keep some banknotes or some business cards or whatever as well. But what I love about this wallet, it's, it's quality, right? For £75, seems like a lot of money, but actually this is vegetable tanned leather, the very best that you can get. And in this cognac colour, it's ageing beautifully. It is acquiring a wonderful patination, which is getting better as time goes on. And it's tactility. When you touch it, it feels so smooth. It feels wonderful to touch. It is ageing wonderfully along with me. Uh, it fits perfectly in the pocket. Of course, Carl Friedrich, their products all come with a rock solid uh, lifetime guarantee. So if anything goes wrong with the wallet, they can be returned and it would be repaired. So you're never in fear of the stitching coming undone or anything wearing out. And I have to say, this has been a delight. It has retired all my other wallets. And I, do you know what? I don't think I may ever need another wallet again. So practical, so lovely and stylish. You know, whenever I go out with people for a meal or something like that, there is no embarrassment or shame when you pull your wallet out and they see this little beauty. Particularly in this case, I had mine personalized with chap, of course. Uh, so, you know, you can, for an extra 25 pounds, they'll put whatever you like on the front. And it is just the perfect accompaniment, the perfect accessory to any gentleman and his overall ensemble. Now, you've seen these many times in my videos because I exclusively wear these gloves in the winter time and the cooler times of year. And I often get questions, right? Comments from viewers asking me, what are those gloves are you wearing? Where did you get them from? They are gorgeous. I have to say they are gorgeous. This is a pair of gloves from Somerset manufacturer, so I live in Somerset, uh, a local manufacturer called Southcombe Gloves. Now they ship all over the world uh, and they have been manufacturing gloves since the 1800s. I believe they're in continuous family ownership and they have a wide offering of gloves of all different kinds. Leather mostly uh, and I have to say they are exquisitely well made. Now the Gloves which I favour uh, are perhaps a little bit left of centre um, and I'll call them their correct name. These are the unlined military uniform leather gloves. Now these are gloves which I guess would typically be worn by army officers or people who wear uh, brown leather gloves but they're unlined and I really love unlined gloves because they allow great dexterity of, of, of the fingers and hands when you're wearing them yet they provide protection from the elements. You know, they stop the wind and they keep the hand warm enough. You know, obviously you're not going to wear these skiing or in extreme temperatures. They are for those in-between seasons where you just want that little bit of extra protection. But these are made, and I wish you could feel them, they're made of a beautifully tactile and smooth uh, leather, which feel glorious against the skin when they're worn on the hand and this beautiful I would describe it as a sort of dark chestnut color almost a reddy rusty color is perfect when being worn in the outdoors you can see it goes wonderfully with my barber jacket or any number of other sort of um, earth tones will go beautifully with these wonderful leather gloves and the best thing 30 pounds for a, a pair of handmade gloves made in the UK at 30 pounds and of this quality you know I cannot believe they're able to produce them for that price in fact I've just ordered a pair in black leather for my other clothing I've ordered some don't tell the wife but I've ordered some leather gloves as a Christmas present for her from Southcombe Gloves um, you know they do some fantastic products um, I will leave a link to their website below and uh, yeah I can only endorse these because these are the gloves you'll see me wearing uh, throughout the winter as we go forward Okay, we're nearly there. Item number nine of my 10 suggested gifts for chaps. And it's something so simple, but it's a perfect gift. Now, I have to admit, I am one of these people who has always got a diary or a notebook on the go, as you can see, right? I keep notes for my YouTube videos. I don't use a script, but I do keep notes. I like to uh, capture things which I think of as I'm going along. And I've kept diaries for many, many years. You know, they help organize one's life. 
they're just practical things. And of course, in recent times, you'll have seen many social media advertisements for uh, sort of lifestyle organizing journals and things like that. And one such product is the Mind Journal, which I saw advertised on social media and it pricked my interest because as I say, I like a good diary. I've always got a simple notebook or a journal on the go. And this was taking journaling to a whole new level. Uh, the Mind Journal is uh, created and produced by a British guy who used the journaling process as part of a mental health rehabilitation after some particularly unpleasant trauma that he suffered. And he used, you know, constantly writing and journaling in a book to improve his mental state. And I would go along with that. I think when you write things down in the using the process of pen on paper, it's an entirely different creative experience to writing something down using, you know, a, a computer or making notes in your uh, your phone. When you use a pen, it induces something definitely more innovative and creative in the mind. And the Mind Journal takes that to a whole new level. It gets you to explore your psyche by providing for you a number of exercises as you go along. And it's a simple thing. It is just a basic journal which, uh, you know, it allows you, it doesn't, it's not like a diary as such, it doesn't keep day-to-day -day notes, but inside this journal, um, there are sort of daily check-in things which you fill in. You know, it helps you to um, articulate your achievements and intentions for the day, the things that you're grateful for the day, how you're feeling, the happiest point of your day, little captures like that, which just help you you know, uh, solidify the events of the day in the written form. And then there are lots of um, exercises for you to undertake. This one I've, the page has fallen open to, who would you write a letter to? And it is an exercise in making you think about, you know, the things that you would communicate to other people using the written word. And it poses an exercise for you around that. All about expanding and improving the brain and your mental acuity. 30, I think it was 35 pounds, um, a really great investment in your mental health and well-being and perhaps will improve your innovation and creativity skills as well. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I do intend to uh, produce a full review on this mind journal in a short period of time, but until then I will say I would definitely recommend one of these as a gift. I gave a journal as a gift to somebody the other day. Absolutely great gift idea for any chap who wants to sharpen their mental skills. Now, it's getting a bit chilly, so I'm gonna put these gloves on, but my final suggestion to you, now I thought for a long time, number 10 is the last one, and I thought, well, I could suggest a fragrance, but it's very subjective. You know, some of you would absolutely hate it. Some of you would love it. Some of you, it would be indifferent. So rather than that, and rather than focusing on the acquisition of shiny things, as we've talked about perhaps in the past in our self-improvement journey here on the Chaps Guide channel, I'm gonna suggest one thing that you can give to somebody which shows your sense of awareness and your humanity, and that is make a donation to a charity in the name of the person that you intend to give a gift to, and then give that to them as your expression as a gift. Um, it might be that you give 25 pounds to the Royal British Legion or to an animal charity because you know that your friend is an avid uh, animal uh, supporter or you know they are an ex-military person. So by giving a gift to a veterans charity in their name, uh, you are doing a wonderful thing on their behalf. I think if we seek to rise above the superficial, the simple baubles, the gifts that we give at this time of year, a magnificent way of doing that is to support a charity, a non-profit, or a third sector organization who are perhaps striving hard to improve the lives of others and then to pass that on to a friend as a gift. Now, some might say, well, that's a cop-out. You're not really giving a gift. To me personally, you know, if somebody did that for me, um, I would think the world of it because my life 
isn't going to be improved by a pen, all right? It, it'll be a nice thing to have, but for me as a, as a chap, as a gentleman, you know, I would love to think that instead of some physical thing, um, the gift that I have been given is a donation which will improve the life of somebody else in my name. Just a thought. It's something a little left of centre, but it's something I will be doing this year, and it might be something you would consider as well. So, there we go, folks. Those were my top 10 possible gifts that you may consider giving to the chap in your life, or perhaps receiving as a gift yourself. Give those hints to those people who may be sending things your way later on in the holiday season. I hope you've enjoyed them. If you have, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, or if you want to be of practical assistance, don't forget, you can buy me a coffee uh, at the Buy Me A Coffee website, and I will leave a link to that in the show notes below as well. And thank you for listening. I hope you all enjoy the holiday season and you get the gifts that you truly deserve. So, until the next time, take care of yourselves and I will see you again very soon.